Good morning to my viewers and my beginners. Well, today I'm going to teach you, show you the stockinette stitch. Want to just uh, recap you on the three stitches which I showed you, which I'd spoken to you about. The seed stitch, the ribbing stitch, and today is the stockinette stitch. I've got a many, many requests of uh, teaching my viewers uh, some new things like how to knit things so I planned that in my next video I'll be showing you how to knit a cap since this will be the last stitch which I will show you which is a very important stitch needed for knitting caps your booties sweaters scarves shawls so I'm teaching you this stitch this time and my next video you will learn to make caps, scarves, mufflers, um, sweaters and everything. I'll be teaching you a lot of things. So let's start today with the demo of stockinette stitch. Well, stockinette stitch, let me explain to you. Stockinette stitch is done with the two important stitches of the knit stitch and the purl stitch. So, without these two important stitches, we cannot perform any stitches. We cannot work any stitches. So, stockinette stitch is done with the work of knit stitch and purl stitch. So, let's start. Well, now, we, I have uh, casted on stitches on my left hand needle as you can see. So, let's insert the right hand needle into the left hand needle first loop from front to back make a cross from front to back I've already taught you I've already shown you in my last videos now take the yarn remember for for knit stitch we keep the yarn at the back but for the purl stitch we bring the yarn in front insert your needle from front to back Lift your yarn, wrap it around from back to front in between your cross needles and push your right hand needle out with the loop. You can see the loop. Now drop the left stitch of your needle. So you have made your first knit stitch. So let's keep doing it. Insert your needle, right hand needle, from front to back. Wrap your yarn between the cross and push your right hand needle loop out and you have made your second loop. So let's keep continuing doing this till the end of the row. Remember, a knit stitch is always done on the right side. Okay, a purl stitch is done on the wrong side and a knit stitch is always done on a right side. So let's do it. Come on. Let's keep working. We will knit this full row and then I'll get back to you. It's very interesting to do knitting. You will like it. Knitting in your spare time when you don't have anything to do. It's good. And with these two stitches, you can knit a lot of things. You can make sweaters for your little babies or your friends or your grandchildren. Sweaters, caps, mufflers, booties, mittens. Only with these two stitches, you can make many things. The scotch in it stitch is very useful. I'm almost to my end of my first row. This is my first row, which is a knit row. And it's on the right side. See, I finished my first row of knit. Right, you can see the small V's on the knit side. These are small V's, okay? So now I will show you, this is my first part. I've completed the first part. 
and now we will do the second part the second part includes the purl stitch okay so i will show you now now for the second part we will flip the needle the needle which is this side we have done the knit stitch right we have completed the knit stitch so we will flip the needle to purl wise that was knit wise now we will flip it to purl wise okay so now since we have flipped the needle to purl wise you can see the knit has all the v's in front here and the purl side as you see there's little bumps which we just made see this is the purl side purl is bumpy right and the knit is got v's and it's flat but the purls are bumpy we have a little bumps on it okay the right side is purl stitch the left side is then a knit stitch is in the right side and purl stitch is on the left side so let's begin now purl stitch you all we taught to do purl stitch so insert your right needle insert your right needle into the first loop from the front this is the back side of the loop the back of the loop this is the front of the loop so insert your needle in the front of the loop and take your yarn remember when we are doing purl the yarn stays in front front of it. okay when we are doing knit it goes back so keep your yarn in front take your needle insert it in the front of the loop take your yarn insert the needle from top to bottom take your yarn wrap it around from back to front and push your loop out and drop your loop from your left stitch come on let's do it again you know very well insert it in the second loop again wrap your yarn around the right needle and drop the loop down from your left needle just keep doing this now in my next videos you will be seeing i will be teaching you different different things to make okay since i've got a man i told you i've got many requests by phone to teach some nice beautiful caps which i've shown you caps and booties and mittens i've shown you so people many of my viewers liked it and they requested me to teach them how to make it so i'll be showing you in my next videos all that now this is the main stitches which you need to make those things for the right side is flat and the wrong side is bumpy the right side you can see see we have done it the right side you can make out it's flat and the wrong side is bumpy this is the purl side which is on the wrong side and the knit stitches are on the right side which has the v's small v's or small hearts okay for stocking it you just have to work one knit and one purl row one knit row and one purl row that's all for stocking it there is no tension there is no worry nothing and if you are confused with which row you have done remember to see you will see this the yarn will be on the right side and you will see the v's then you will understand that it is the knit side if the yarn is this side on the right side this side when you flip the needle that means you have little bumps here that means it's the purl side okay so this is purl wise this is knit wise remember these are many there's many ways of make uh, tension of putting your needles when you are knitting your uh, wool yarn some put it with the with the thumb some put it with your index finger but i i'm more very comfortable using it like this with my right hand and my index finger 
okay it depends on you your choice what you like to do it okay now and one thing i want to tell you all the odd numbers are the knit stitch and all the even numbers are the purl stitches so these are the odd numbers so now i do hope that my explanation has helped you see you in my next class thank you have a good day